Hey, what's up everybody? It's David Grayson. I was just going to inform you all that Tiger Woods now moves to 7 under par at the Greenbrier Classic after birding hole number 7. Now, my predictions for the rest of the round is I feel that since there are two par 5s on the back 9, if Tiger can keep it in the fairway, I think that he'll definitely shoot 5 under par. Um, ideally, if he could shoot 6 or 7 under par and get himself to a almost a guaranteed spot in the top 5 by the end of the day, I think he'll have a strong chance of winning. Um, I think Jason Bone, he just fired a 61 and he finished at 11 under par. That number is going to intimidate a lot of people. And although the Greenbrier golf course is very receptive right now, um, that can also screw people up. You can spin it off the green. You know, you can get caught in the rough. Uh, if you're left with any really downhill chip shots that you almost intentionally have to flub, you can do uh, what Jonathan Bird did uh, yesterday and completely whiff it. And uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting day. I really am hoping, though, that Tyre can continue this good play, even if he weren't to win, just for the sake of the media getting off of his back and, you know, for him to get, the, like they said, four rounds under par and that confidence back, because he's still a young guy. I mean, he's not even 40 yet. He's close, but he's not 40 yet. And I think he still has a lot of good golf in him, and so far this week he's only shown and uh, proven that. So, uh... Best of luck, Tiger. Best of luck with the rest of the field. Enjoy the rest of the Greenbrier.